And you there. Alright, let me... Hold on. Alrighty, welcome to today's video. As you can see, huh, we're in oblivion, but not really in oblivion. As you can see, we're also kind of in VR chat. This is a little new thing that I'm deciding to do for the intros of my videos. I kind of want to do this kind of like in-person, not in-person VR type thing where I give the intro in VR chat. I hope you guys do enjoy this new intro instead of me just flashing PNGs in front of the screen. This way you can actually see a little bit more intimacy. You can see me actually moving around, actually talking to you, kind of like a little bit one-on-one -on -one with the viewer, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so let's get right into describing what today's video is all about. As you can see, we're in oblivion. The best Elder Scrolls game ever to be made, and you can't change my mind. You just can't. It's just facts. So in today's video, I decided to make a challenge for myself. I wanted to revisit the Elder Scrolls Oblivion because it is personally my favorite. So I thought to myself in 2023, how can I record Oblivion and make it seem interesting to you guys out there? So to start off, I decided to take the difficulty slider and slide it all the way up to the max difficulty. And honestly, I forgot how incredibly difficult Oblivion was to play on the highest difficulty. I mean, guys, I was getting two shot by rats in the tutorial. Two shot by rats in the tutorial! And then to top it all off, to make it even harder on myself, not only am I playing on the highest difficulty, I have to see how far I can get on this highest difficulty while playing in permadeath. Yeah. So needless to say, in the beginning, we got stuck in an endless death loop. No! Oh, dude, this is impossible! This was awful. And it took me about, I want to say, two and a half hours to actually get out of this death loop because I couldn't figure out how to cheese the game and make it, you know, workable. So, yeah, there's that to look forward to. Now, you're might wondering, what kind of class are we going to build? How are we going to fight in this highest difficulty with permadeath? If I'm dying in two shots by freaking rats, how am I gonna beat the game? Well, you see, I didn't go with your typical sword, hack and slash, no, that wouldn't work. I can't get close to the enemies or else they'll kill me quickly. So that's out of the works. And with that, you all might be thinking ranged is the best thing to do too. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, archery and oblivion just sucks, let's be honest, it's terrible. So what could that possibly leave, you might ask? What kind of class could we make that could give us a glimmer of hope in this challenge? Well, it's a mage build. You see, I decide to do a mage build because I get to stay at range, do high damage, I can even summon things to fight for me, basically be my meat shield, and the number one thing that I ended up realizing that I definitely need in this challenge is paralysis because oblivion's paralysis oh baby so you see you don't get effective paralysis until you're level 100 in illusion which i end up cheesing the game incredibly incredibly much thanks to god howard thank you god howard everyone god howard for making a perfectly balanced game he would never put any kind of exploits glitches or bugs in his games they're always perfect thank you Todd. Thank- no, I'm sorry, not Todd. Thank you, God Howard. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You see, I streamed this on my Twitch channel, and if you guys were there, you know that you would also be in the video. This is something I'm gonna start doing a little bit more often. I'm going to provide some kind of challenge videos or whatnot that I'll end up streaming on my Twitch channel over at TG underscore Biscuit. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't went and followed my Twitch channel yet, you definitely need to go follow it. It's something I want to do to kind of give back to the community a little bit. That way, if you guys are in the Twitch channel while I'm streaming, you guys can end up making it into the video because I'll have chat right on screen. So you guys can laugh at me, make some jokes, say anything you want that could be in the video as long as it obviously isn't anything on the verge of, you know, canceling me already. I haven't even started. Please don't cancel me already. I would really appreciate it if you didn't do that. Just please don't cancel. Me, okay, but anyway, let's get right into day one of the stream so you guys can see just how terribly awful this start was. Enjoy. You guys are still here? 
What is it? Go enjoy the video already. Let's go with the fitting. Yeah, super sure. We need that. That was good. Boom. There's a character. What's this prisoner doing here? Nothing. This cell is supposed to be off limits. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could you kill this? <laughs> I look like so. Yo, for being as old as he is, he's got a mad pack. Don't push me, prisoner. Don't give me a reason to kill you. Do it. You won't. I've got no balls. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. Ancestor Guardian, help me. Get him. Alright, I take all this. Take all this. Don't try it. I'm watching. <laughs> they won't be the first to underestimate the Lord. Oh, I can't call him my guardian. Ah! Oof. I got him. Got me, super rat. Ah! Yeah. Wait, hold on. Difficulty. All the way up. There we go. Okay, difficulty is all the way up now. I had to be in game two, actually change it. Like that. Oh, wrong spell. Ah! Wait, hold on. I'm not ready. I don't have Magicka. This is actually gonna be difficult. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be difficult. I'm dead already! I'm dead already! Holy shit! Alright, that's what that guy's gonna look like. <laughs> he looks so dumb. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be. Decorating my room. Found iron, I'm waiting for you. Are they bugged? Oh no. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. That's not it's smart. Not smart. Oops. Okay. Um. Might die already. Again. <gasps> what the fuck? Ah. These rats are so strong. I think I'm definitely gonna have to, to definitely gonna have to do conjuration a lot if I'm gonna do anything point. good Let's with the. Uh... You stay here, prisoner. Shut up. Oh, I can shoot it through the crack. Hog. Ah. Oh. Uh, I'm scared. Why are these rats so fucking hard? Okay, hold on. I need to. I need to cheese this. Hold on. Just gotta wait for my stamina to return to my stamina. Oh, wait, I can reach you from here. Okay, there we go. Onward. <laughs> Took so long. Oh no, another rat. Ah, another rat. Another rat. Oh, f why, can dude? It oh my gosh, it does not stop. It does not stop. Ah. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Holy shit, those rats do so much damage. This is gonna be impossible, actually. I think I'm gonna have to be an archer. Mage, but archer as well. Like, main mage, and then archer being my backup. I'm gonna have to run by this, because I'm not fighting this zombie. This is gonna take too much. Excuse me. Okay, y'all have fun over there. No, oh, wait, this, this is actually an issue. This is actually an issue. What, he just threw himself into the wall? Oh, not good. Not good. I'm gonna have to fight it. Just a peasant. Ah, leave me alone. Wait, those rats ran over here? They didn't even actually fight this thing? They just ran away? Uh oh, I got two. Oh my gosh. Archery and oblivion is terrible. Ah! Oh, they've got so much distance. This bow is like doing nothing. Oh my god, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't win. I just have to run by it. No! Oh, why are you so fast? Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Oh no, another rat! Oh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! No, god damn it, get off of me! No! Dude, this is impossible! Leave me alone! Oh my god, why can they hit so much? Dude, there's no- I- I can't. I'm dead again. I got fucking stuck! Ah! Ah! Get out of the way! You fucking idiots! It's coming. It's coming. No! Another rat! No! No! How many rats? Man, god damn it! This is the worst part of it all, though. It's like dying and then knowing that I have to go through all this again. Wait! How did I aggro all three of them? That's not fair! I will do this for however long it takes me. I think it died that time. You scare me. Oh, you very much so scare me. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh my god, I'm so dead. 
Oh my god, and goblins can go through doors. Really, the only way that I'm going to be able to do this is if I can somehow make it out of the tutorial. And then I'd have to be able to make a bunch of paralysis potion. Or be able to cast a paralysis spell. That's the only way I can win. Run around you. Ow! Oh, that might have been bad. Might have been really bad. It doesn't look like they can close as much distance as a rat can. So I should be able to hopefully, in theory, run all the way through this tutorial area and get outside. If I can do that, I'm home free. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, that one is fast. Perfect. Oh my gosh, we're good. We're doing good. Now we just gotta run through all these guys. I'm not even gonna worry about the loot. I need to get out of here. Especially because if that one hits me, I might die. Oh my god. It's a good thing I healed. It's a good thing I healed. I would have died. I'm back, guys. Staying up here, though, because I have to cheese this. This is the furthest I've made it. I'm waiting here. You guys can just wait here with me. <laughs> Thank you. That dude stood there for an entire hour with his arm raised in the air. Whoa. You don't want to do that Whoa. Again. Fireball from where? Oh, no. Dead end. They're behind us. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Sure thing. Whoa. Look out behind you. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot that he attacked me, too. Don't oh, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No, I cannot die. I cannot die. Please save me. I'm just a lowly peasant. Save my ass. I'm going to die. Let me take you. Fuck. That was insane. I panic chugged so many potions. We failed. No, you failed. This was never my job. All right. Where is... Page. Made it through most of the tutorial. We're free. All we gotta do is get out of this sewer system. Not another rat. Ow! Oh, I actually need to take those things seriously. I might die if I don't. <laughs> Cheese in the game. Hog. Let's go. That is how you survive on legendary difficulty. We did it! We did it! We made it out of the sewers alive! Oh my gosh, finally. An hour and 47 minutes in, we finally made it out of the fucking sewers. All right, I'm gonna go sell stuff and continue on with the main story. Not a bad you way to make some money if you've got the stone. But just spare a coin, I've got nothing to eat. Please, just a single coin, I've got nothing to eat. I've been eating my lice on the street, it's the only thing I have. I need to figure out how I can get paralysis stuff, because that's honestly, that that is my next step. I need to be able to paralyze things, because I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm just going to hop in here real quick and explain why there's a lot of footage missing. I decided to go and join the Mages Guild. I thought it would be a good idea to join the Mages Guild. And I went down some of the quest line. I went and retrieved the uh, book at the top of the altar for uh, What's-His-Face. That ended up not being a bright idea like I thought it would be. You see, if I were to go down the Mages Guild quest line and do everything to be able to gain any kind of form of paralysis, uh, it would take a really long time. So instead of doing that, I decided to do the little cheeky exploits that Todd Howard would never put in his game. And I started duping things and basically casting spells on random NPCs that doesn't harm them, so I won't get in trouble for it, and so I won't have no guards coming to tell me, stop, you violated the law. No, this is actually completely legal because it's actually kind of helping them. But, but, before we actually get to that part, there's one more thing that you guys are going to have to see, and that is a very, very tragic mistake of mine. You see, once I realized that the Mages Guild would take too long, I decided to have the bright idea of just saying, eh, I'm gonna go for it, and that proved to be a very, very tragic mistake of mine. So, behold my stupidity. Ha! Oh! <laughs> God! No! Oh, God! I'm going to get 16 of these. I'm going to buy all 16 of these. Now, this is what we're going to do. Negotiator. Now, in theory, I double click this, go up to this because I want to duplicate it, drop it. Boom. Look at that. Yes. Mega brain. Look at all these staffs. 76. Oh, my God. Oh, paralyzed. Yes. For 10 seconds. That's the one that I need. Oh, Pog. 
Okay, this is off to a really great start today. Oh, wait, 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 I have a really good idea. So I have the DLCs. Frost Craig Spire Key. All right. So this is an area that you get for free, basically, in the DLC. And I have plenty of money, so I can upgrade it as well. But if you go to Frost Craig Spire, this basically gives me a mage tower on my own. I get to own it. And there's two things in there where I can recharge and also upgrade and enchant any item I want. This will allow us to become extremely overpowered. Inside we go with the Frost Craig Spire key. And right now it looks, you know, very bland. All I gotta do is read this and then go back into Imperial Market City District. So as you see, these are all, each one of them are a good few K. And uh, because I have copious amounts of gold, I can just boom, 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 open sesame. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna add our thingy maboob, add a soul gem. Uh, we're gonna wanna fortify magic because that will give us even more magic, more magic than what our magic level is. All right, hey again, guys, it's me. I just want to pop in real quick because I didn't really explain this part that well on stream. So I'm going to explain it here. What I decided to do was I went to this Frost Craig Spire and it has two things in it that allows you to really enchant and create spells. Now that's really cool, but there's one thing that you can do that Todd Howard really didn't think about. That is the fact that if you go and get a bunch of different kinds of apparel, it doesn't matter if it's boots, if it's a hat, if it's a cloak, anything that you can wear, you can enchant. One thing that you can do doing with that is you can kind of stack enchantments. Yeah. So basically what you do, you know how I do the duplication spell? Well, I, that's not really a spell. I don't know why I called it a spell. That is literally a an exploit. So you know how you can do the duplication exploit? Well, you can kind of do a similar thing with that in the Frost Craig Spider. So basically what you do is you enchant armor and what I'm doing, seeing as I'm running a mage build, I decided to enchant a bunch of different pieces of peril with fortified magic. And what that does is gives me a higher magic cap. So basically, if I start out at, let's say, 50 magic, that is all I can use. 50 magic is all I can use to summon a spell. So that means if a spell costs 60 magic or costs 150, I can't use those. But if we use a little bit of an exploit, basically we can stack all of that. Meaning I can get boots, hat, necklace, ring, anything I want, enchant it, and then if I basically duplicate it and drop it, but also equipped it before I drop it, technically it stays on my character's body. Now the bad thing about this is it does, I'm pretty sure, stack up your carry weight. So what I ended up having to do is actually pick clothing that doesn't weigh a lot. So it doesn't give me like good armor. So I didn't go and get heavy armor or anything. Although if you did want to do a really tanky heavy armor build, you could go get heavy armor. You just have to keep in mind that it would make your carry capacity really high and there's really no way of getting rid of it because it it's kind of a bug in the game and you can't really fix it once you do it except for reverting your last load. So I took a bunch of basic clothing, some cowls, some cloaks, and very light armor like fur stuff, and basically just stacked them. I fortified magic on every one of them, stacked it on up, and I basically ended up coming up with this. I think now we're good. And we... Oh, we still can't cast Paralyze. How much further do we have to go? We're at 502, what do you mean we can't cast it? That's insane! Wait, okay, why did why can't we cast this? Paralyzed for 10 seconds, it requires illusion skill of 100. Oh. Now we just need to keep doing our illusion casting. So I'm gonna come in here. So I really have to do my illusion training. I have to get to 100 in illusion right now. So this is gonna be a bit of a long time. Oh yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a while, yes it is. Okay, wait, there might be something that I can try. Yes, touch area. Let's make it like uh, this one. Yeah, let's do that. Touch you. Oh, no. Okay, no, I can just do this. Okay, okay, Pog. We're gonna stand here and cast our spells on him. All right, we're gonna continue uh, leveling our magic this way. How can I help? You can help me by standing right there while I just cast this on you over and over again. This is gonna take a very long time. I sorely underestimated how hard this was. 
before we go any further, I'm going to show real quick, after I ended stream last time, I leveled my illusion all the way to 100. Basically, I just stood in front of an NPC and just went like this for about almost two hours. I also went and duped a bunch of clothing the other stream. Yeah, basically stacked a bunch of levels on myself to where now I have 512 mana. Because I duped those clothings, technically I'm wearing like... I don't even know. I want to say I'm wearing like 50 or 60 some pairs of clothing, but it doesn't actually register that in my inventory. However, the carry weight does stay. The carry weight of all those clothings that I put on is, I'm pretty sure, staying. I'm pretty sure that's why all my weight is so high because, I mean, this is 10, that's 25, 10. Yeah, that's got to be what it is because, like, all this other stuff only weighs like 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. This one's two, this one's one. As we know, I named my outfit. Biz's boobies, Biz's feet picks, and choke me. And then for my custom bow and arrow, it is just stick and string. Basically, it just absorbs health. I could probably most definitely make a even stronger one. However, I want to get a move on. I want to finally get this going. I have spent hours upon hours upon hours leveling my character. Now we are finally going to go through the main mission and see what we can do. We got deliver the amulet. That's all I have to do. I'm gonna speed run this and hopefully not die. We're gonna head on in. Well, Excuse me. I must speak to Joffrey. I must speak to him. Something seriously Joffrey. bad has happened. I'm just, yep, spam, spammy spam. He said, close shut the, draw, the jaws of oblivion. All right, hit that. Hit it, hit it. Open it up. Thank you, Joffrey. All right, I don't really need anything in here, except maybe I'll take that. Back to duping. Biz can't ever, he can't ever get over the duping. He can't ever. Look at this. I drink it. Where are we going? Kavach, right? There it is. Alright, so... If you can hear me over the storm, we have paralyzing on two, frost on three, healing on four, and summoning a scamp on five, and six, I'm pretty sure, is just some kind of shielding spell. Close, shut the jaws of oblivion. Hello. Stamp. No. <laughs> I just said no, I don't want to. I didn't mean to do it. Alright, there we go. We went through all the dialogue. I paralyzed it. It's dead. All right, that's a good start already. Uh, what is not a good start is that this already ran out of charges. Holy poop. That already ran out of charges. All right, so basically we got to come here and hit that. Come here. Hit that. Come here. Hit that. Oh, boy. This takes a lot of petty soul gems. I should have gotten grand soul gems. I'm sorry that you all have to listen to this. Oh, wait, was that the last one? Oh, that was almost bad. Chat, why didn't you tell me that was almost bad? We gotta dupe that before we run out of it completely. Don't mind me, guys, just duping stuff in uh, the midst of a battlefield. Yep. Back to it. <laughs> just like that. We're brand new again. I want to cast the paralyzing spell on you. Paralyzed. Ha! Kill her ass. Oh, what the fuck? No way, did I just die? No way, I just died. No way! That's how it ends after all that time? Are you serious? The stream just started! Dude, I just got blasted in the back randomly. How did... How did that happen and who even hit me? Dude, I was so prepared. I was so ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, that's, I mean, I did say that, that that was going to be the end of it if that happened, and it happened. <laughs> oh my god, man. So, our journey comes to an end. I cannot believe that I let myself die like that. I mean, the darn thing came from nowhere, man. It was going so well, like we were doing amazing, I had the stats all going, I worked so hard the last stream and ugh, for nothing. I would blame something, but I don't even know what to blame. I don't even know what to blame. I just think I got shot randomly in the back. Shut up. What are you doing in here? How are you in here? Are you kidding? That's so goddamn embarrassing. Dude, what the f Oh my God. I am lit. <laughs> in a hole and never come out now i'm done how long have you been in here get over here come, come, come here come come here come here because i have my camera set up right there <laughs> nice avatar by the way i like it it's really good okay 
now that that's done, in case you guys don't know, that's my friend Cry, formerly known as Kristana, and normally I'm really good because I'm always super scared about joining a, pro or a public world and then having some people come in in the middle of me doing this kind of thing because it's super embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I would do if a, if a random came in. I probably would get so like just, I don't know, embarrassed and I would just be like, um, boop, 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 and leave. <laughs> like, that's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Okay, my brain is so scrambled right now. I just had a really long talk with them. So like, I completely forgot where I was. I knew that I was talking about, I don't know how I died. I really don't even know what killed me. I Maybe it was one of the guards that shot me with an arrow in the back or something. I don't really know. But regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I also hope that you guys are enjoying this uh, kind of new thing that I'm doing with the um, stepping into, into the middle of the video and also beginning an outro, but also doing it while in VR chat and talking to you guys kind of one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's a little bit more in person and kind of shows um, a little bit more effort, I guess, rather than just flashing PNGs and whatnot on the screen. It's kind of cool to be able to do this with my audience and talk to you guys like this. So hope you guys do enjoy it. I plan on doing it more in the future. I'm definitely going to be getting a better mic because right now I'm using my uh, actual main mic, but I have to like raise the gain and put the boom up. And then also I'm like walking around. So you can definitely tell that it's like talking in a room and you can hear the sound difference. So it's going to get better, but the mic that I'm trying to get is going to be like 120 dollars and i also have other funds for live 2d by the way over on twitch so go uh yeah go follow me on twitch because soon i'm gonna be live 2d modeling it but instead of talking your guys ear off forever i'm just going to say i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button and comment in the comment section below if you guys would like to see another run of this in the future if you guys would like to see me to revisit this and maybe beat it maybe do better because honestly i think that i can definitely do it the only issue is i have to be a little bit more cautious going in there like that i definitely think that we can do it so if you guys want to see it in the future just let me know in the comment section below otherwise i'm just going to move on with other content if you guys are returning to the channel and you have not hit that subscribe button yet why 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 have you not hit this why why have you not done it yet huh Hit the subscribe button or I'll be under your bed. And one more thing before I go ahead and leave this video is I want to go ahead and promote a little bit of my Patreon. I don't really promote my Patreon that much because I kind of feel bad, you know, asking for money. Now, whether you do the first tier subscription, which is only $3 a month, or you can go up to the highest to the $20 a month subscription, which has the most benefits that you can get. Regardless of what tier you choose, one thing that every single tier has in common is that you have full access to the Patreon, you have full access to the discord and you also get a shout out at the end of every one of my videos that i post on youtube now with that being said tier two of the patreon allows you to have all of that fancy jazz but you also get to give me a video idea and then i'll turn it into a video now tier two is five dollars a month if you want to take that one or you can go a little bit higher if you want and then do tier three which is uh ten dollars a month now with tier three, you can get all of the benefits that I mentioned before, but you can also request to see me IRL in a maid outfit. $10 a month, you can request one photo of me in a maid outfit every month if you really want it. My face will be hidden, but you can do it. Now tier four being the highest subscription that you can choose gives you all of the benefits of every other tier, except you also get the benefit of being able to play a game with me. It doesn't matter what game, as long as I have access to it and we're able to play, maybe you're on a console, then it would have to be a cross-play game because I don't really play on console, I play on PC. So there's that to look forward to. Now again, you don't have to feel obligated to subscribe to any of these tiers. You don't even have to visit the Patreon. I would just greatly appreciate it if you do to support me and my family even more because times are tough, let's be honest. The society we live in is rough. But if you guys do choose to support the channel and me and my family a little bit more, I would greatly appreciate it. And I also would love to give back to you guys as well. I hope you all enjoyed the video. You all have a good one. I'll see you all later.